What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs, cups, and such, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with us. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, side to Tarot 5, the link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash up, no Venmo. It's very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, the hair dye uh, debacle is almost over, just to let y'all know. And I got a haircut today. What, 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 what? Don't it look so cute? So, I feel so fresh and so clean, clean. I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, shout out to Dakota at Certified Hands Barber Academy. Um, I went and got my hair cut today by him. He is a student barber there, and his um, his mentor and um, the owner there, his name is Ryan, and they're both phenomenal. And I'm going, if anybody's interested, uh, I know some of you guys live in the Huntsville, Alabama area or the surrounding areas. If you're interested, check them out. They are on Bailey Cove Road. They're on Bailey Cove Road. It's not on here, but um, the number, uh, Ryan will give you all the uh, details if you're interested. Um, but he, they're both amazing, but it's Bailey Cove Road, which is South Huntsville, okay, for anybody that is interested. I told, I told Ryan and Dakota that I was going to promote them on my channel. Um to give them a wonderful little shout out if anybody's interested in um, services from them. Um, they're both phenomenal. Just saying, just saying, okay? All right, so I'm going to do a reading. We're going to pull the energy. I haven't gotten channeling yet, but we're going to do it. I, I feel so wonderful. Like, I was, let me tell y'all. Scar back for a minute. I was looking at all my old photos of my hair and what have you, what have you, and I love it when my hair gets Y'all know I love a good haircut. You know I do. You know I do. And it's been a hot ass minute. Y'all know that too. So I went and did something nice for myself and got myself a haircut. And I'm losing weight. I posted the little um, posting on the community tab if anybody wants to see the pictures. I'm going to start posting progression photos. Um, and I'm getting that started too. Just saying, just saying. We're going to get it rolling. Just saying. But... Um, and I encourage everybody else to do it too. If you want to um, post your progression photos on the community tab, on the comment section, feel free to do so or any other readings. But um, uh, to me, it's good motivation for everybody to get out there and get exercise and get moving and to move your body and get in shape. And I'm just being for real. But anyway, so, um, so I'm going to do a reading, just saying. 4.47 p.m., 9.23.22. We're going to do it, okay? All right. So the channel message I received was, um, oh, I haven't received one. I haven't received one. I'm sorry. We're just going to pull energy. I haven't received one. I just want to do one. Yeah. Ah, sorry. Okay, yeah. So let's do it. Someone that called you a prostitute in the past, they are about to ever regret it. They're about to receive very heavy negative karma. Oh, my Lord. Whoa. Okay. Of course, don't forget the basics. It's very important to only take the messages that resonate with the rest. If one message applies, one applies, two apply, two apply, two plus apply, and if none apply, none apply. You only take the messages that resonate with you and your own specific story and situation, not anybody else. There's a lot of folks on here in my channel. As a psychic medium and a prophetess, I channel the energy of you guys when you interact with me as far as liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing my videos, etc., etc., etc. on here on the energetic space. So um, one may apply for you, two may apply, none may apply. Um, you just take what resonates, okay? Don't get confused, okay? Please don't. I don't want anybody confused, okay? But anyway, so the channel message I heard was um, someone is about to ever regret calling you a prostitute. Now, I did hear a prostitute. I didn't hear gigolo. So, whoever you are, I feel you're probably a, um, a feminine. I think you're a femme. 
and I'm just being for real. Think you're a femme. Um, cause males are called gigolos. Male prostitutes are called gigolos. So I think you're probably a feminine or a masculine that takes on heavy femme, but you plug it in how it resonates. Okay. Spirit messages you have reflected, but they're going to regret ever calling you a prostitute. That's, that's for sure. For sure. Too much concern with sexual matters. You cannot make this crap up even if you wanted to. And I know most of you guys know, but for ones that don't know, the newbies, new subscribers, because I have some recent new subscribers, there's over 100 tea leaves in here. That channel message coupled with this card is double deuces confirmation in my opinion. Too much concern with sexual matters. They called you a prostitute in the past. Sex on the brain. Sex on the brain. They were trying to recruit you secretly behind the scenes through heavy talent moments made for you to become a prostitute. Oh my God. So then not only did they call you a prostitute out in the 3D in the everyday world we live in, but behind the scenes, they were secretly creating negative talent moments for you. So you would become a prostitute. So they could pimp you out. Oh my God, you can't make this up even if you wanted to. So they could pimp you out. We're not about pimping our ride. We're talking about pimping people. What? <laughs> they are about to ever regret it. Ever regret it. Spirit messages you ever reflected. I heard they're about to ever regret it, ever regret it. Well, I hope they regret it, and that's just the truth, because that's some sick shiznit. I mean, really, it is. Uh, one, people should have free will to make their own decisions, and that's just the truth. And two, creating negative tower moments, um, creating negative tower moments behind the scenes for you, if this resonates for you, so you would be in hard times and hardships, so you would resort to prostitutism, so they could become your pimp, so they could, could uh, obtain controlling and domineering energy over you basically because a remake doesn't know a pimp is basically somebody that basically takes a cut of the prostitute's money earnings i mean you can be a mask or a feminine pimp but i'm serious that's what a pimp does they take a cut of the earnings for a prostitute or gigolo and that's just the truth usually they find them clientele that's usually why they do but the fact of the matter is they use they take a cut and most of the pimps are usually very abusive, very abusive. Um, it's a terrible business, to be honest. It's a terrible business. I've never been a prostitute, never want to be a prostitute. But it is a terrible business because there's so much abuse in there. And, and But people free willingly put themselves in it, um, unfortunately. But whoever you are, you are not a prostitute. But they were trying. They created so many heavy negative power moments behind the scenes for you. To God, to to basically um, uh, make it easier for you. I think they wanted you depressed or um, or down on your luck or financial hardships or straits or something like that. So it would make it easier for them to manifest you in as a you, their prostitute, uh, one of their prostitutes, and them up in i.e. control and dominance over you with money and sex which is not correct that's really not correct behavior but there are people that do that crap out in the world unfortunately i believe in hashtag living free y'all all know that and that's terrible so um whoever this resonates for i'm sorry i'm gonna pull one more spirit messages you have reflected and work achievement success all right so this is the prostitute energy i feel for a lot of you guys your fans that take on um feminines and for some you can be masculine takes on heavy femme but you never became a prostitute whoever you are you you did not become their prostitute they wanted to become your pimp and them your pro uh you their prostitute and them your pimp if that makes sense so they could take a cut of the money and have control and dominance over you as far as sex and money yikes but it never happened it never happened even though there was major negative power moments there 
Mountain, major uh, challenges to overcome. They have spread so many lies about you in public. People do not believe them anymore. For some, they're about not to believe them. It's about to affect their careers in very negative ways. Okay, I heard they've spread so many lies about you in public. So very in public energy, not in private. That um, it's about to affect their careers in very negative ways. For some, it's about to affect their careers in negative ways. So, um... If this resonates for you, person that did not become a prostitute, this is not your energy. This is their energy. They're the one that called you a prostitute. They're the ones that created the negative power moments behind the scenes. So you would hopefully resort to prostituteism so they could become your pimp. They are the ones that were telling people in public you were a prostitute. But what people in public didn't know is they were the ones creating the negative power moments behind the scenes so they could lure you in as a pimp. Oh my God, this is sick. So basically, major challenge to overcome here is them having a, about to o overcome all the gossip and the lies they spoke about you. Um, a lot of gossip and lies. A lot of gossip and lies. A lot of gossip and lies I heard. And um, I heard some of these people, their careers are about to tank. Some have already tanked, some are about to. So they are going to have to have major challenges to overcome because they have gossip and lied on you so bad, calling you a prostitute or a hoe, or what have you, what have you, you know, prostitutes and hoes are about the same thing, so, um, you plug it in how it resonates, this is terrible, January, In January of 2022, they were spreading around that you were a prostitute in a huge way that you got a job to gain clientele. But it was a lot. So you plug it in how it resonates. This is sick. So um, whoever you are, you, um, you gained a job in January 2022. This resonates for you. You gained a job in January 2022. But however that resonates, um, whoever this is, and I feel it might be two or two plus people, and I'm just being serious, that did this to you. Um, I heard huge gossip, slander, and lies. I mean, just the whole gamut, basically. But however that resonates, um, I heard they said you gained a job in January 2022 strictly to gain clientele off of this job for, a pros for, for your prostitute business. Um, but the reality is they wanted to be your pimp, but I'm sure they don't tell people that. This is sick. And they said you were ridden with STD, that you were very ill. That's about to backfire too, because you're healthy as a horse. Okay, I heard in, uh, oh my God, and I heard they, um, we're also spreading lies. Not only did they say that you got a job in January 2022 to um, gain clientele as a prostitute, wherever you gained this employment at, but also, so you were very ill. You were very ill, um, but like medically ill um, from prostitution. So like STDs or um, severe STDs like HIV or AIDS or... Um, gonorrhea or a trick or something like that something of that nature uh herpes simplex or something like that but i heard none of that's true you are healthy as a horse meaning you don't have any sexual health medical conditions or you might not have any other physical medical conditions or mental health i'm presuming you plug it in how it resonates but however that resonates 
you definitely don't have any sexual health medical conditions, I'll tell you that. So they were spreading around gossip in January 2022 that you were gaining this job, wherever it was, and how that resonates for you, to gain prostitution clientele. But that's not true. And that you were sexually ill. So you had some kind of sexual health issues, like STD issues or uh, untreated STDs or HIV or um, AIDS or something of that nature. Uh, however that resonates, maybe hep for some. Um, how that resonates, that applies. But I heard you don't. You don't. And work achievement success. Many people are about to learn the truth, real truth, very soon. Some already know the truth. Your name is about to be cleared in a huge way. Okay, I heard um, some people already know the truth and some are about to learn the real truth so that you're not a prostitute. You're not, um, you're not sexually ill, uh, hopefully not mental health or medical ill, but you, only you know your medical and mental health needs, not anybody else. And if you are medically or mental health, uh, if you do have medical or mental health needs, it's always good to go get them treated. Um, of course, that's your free will to go do so if you choose to do that. But it's not good to keep things untreated. Uh, absolutely not because you know they get worse it's kind of like a um, wound and you leave it open and you don't get stitches and it just starts pussing and getting infected and um, starts gaping open and you get gangrene and then the arm has to come off you know when you could have just went to the ER got it clean got stitches and boom it was healing you know what I'm saying so how that resonates but are some already uh, already know the truth. They already know the truth. Some are about to learn the real truth. So you're not a prostitute. You, you don't sell your body sexually. And you never have. And you never have. That's what I heard. So you, you're you not a prostitute. You don't sell your body. And I heard you never have. And you never have. Um, and um, you're not sexually evil. So no STDs or sexual health issues or anything like that. If that resonates and applies. Okay. Um, I think you might be working hard. You might get some kind of achievement or you might gain some kind of success soon. I think you're going to gain success in this aspect as far as your name being cleared with your reputation. In this aspect, I think it's um, people were trying to slander your name in some kind of negative work aspect, saying you were a prostitute and you had sexual health issues. But in a reality... You're about to gain success because your name is about to be cleared, already is cleared. Because some already know the truth and some are about to find out the truth. So success in this aspect, in my opinion, is your name about to be cleared or already has been cleared. And I think it's by people in your community. Because whoever these negative energies are that were spreading around you were freaking prostitute. Um, I heard they're about to ever regret it. I mean, it's not true, though. You, that's the... That's the thing. You can't go around defaming people's character and slandering and lying and gossiping on people because once people find out the real truth, it makes these people look very uncredible. And that's just the truth. Uh, because they know not to believe them. And that's just the truth. Alright, let's get one. Tree. Your family is the one that stirred up this drama. And through many series of chain of events, they're about to receive very heavy negative power moments. Very heavy negative power moments. And one person in your family has been a prostitute for a long time. Oh my God, this is terrible. 
So I heard your family is basically the one that stirred up this drama. Your family is the one that basically stirred up the, the crap pot, basically. They stirred it up, and um, they wanted you to look bad, your reputation to look bad. And it's sad that your home family would do this, but some people have toxic family like that. They just, they want to just secretly compete, secretly compete, secretly compete. They don't want to support and love and um, be there for their family members. They just want to compete, which is terrible. That's terrible mindset, but some people are like that. But how that resonates, um, you have a toxic family if this resonates for you. And I do feel for a lot of you guys, your feminines, for some of you to be masculine, take on heavy femme. But it was your toxic family that did this, basically. My uh, family in this aspect, um, I heard family in this aspect, the tree. I feel this is family tree, family roots, genetics, genealogy type energy. But how that resonates, I heard um, your toxic family is about to receive negative power moments because they have lied, uh, lied and defamed your character and slandered you and what have you, what have you um, to a community, to a community strategically, which is really sad. Well, your family should have done that. That's just the truth. You are about to become very, 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 very successful. Very successful. Keep working hard. You are about to become very, very, very successful. Keep working hard. So if this resonates for you, Femme Energy, your masculine takes on heavy Femme, I'm feeling. Um, you keep working hard, sir or ma uh, ma'am or sir that possibly likes to be called ma'am. You keep working hard and um, doing you, honey boo boo, and um, growing and manifesting yourself, okay? Uh, don't worry about your toxic family and um, what others say, because if you're not a prostitute, you're not a prostitute. And whoever you are, I heard you've never been a prostitute. Like, never. You've never even been a prostitute. And whoever's toxic family this is, you have at least one prostitute in your family. I'll tell you that. And they have slept with a lot of people. High people in your community. But the energy has shifted. Oh my God. I heard they have slept with a lot of high up people in your community. A lot of them. But the energy shifted. Meaning they, I'm assuming they're either, I'm assuming they're not sleeping with them anymore. Um, I'm assuming. I heard the energy shifted. So I'm assuming they're not sleeping with high members of their, of their community anymore as prostitutes. But one of you guys, one of your uh, family members, at least one, for some it could be two or two plus that um, your family members uh, are prostitutes. I'm um, feeling them prostitutes. For some it could be masculine that takes on heavy thin, but you plug it in how it resonates. But however that resonates, sleeping with high up members in your community or city or town or what have you, what have you. High members, so high level people. Uh, yikes. So at least one prostitute in your family, if not two or two plus, okay? Um, someone is getting a huge wake-up call. Many shocking series of chain events are about to occur with this situation soon. Someone is getting a huge wake-up call. Many shocking series of chain events are about to occur with this situation soon. And for one, you're about to get a visitor soon. They will contact you before they come. Positive. Okay, so many shocking series of chain events are about to occur with this situation. And for one of you guys, you're about to get a um, visitor soon. But I heard a positive visitor. And through many shocking series of chain events, um, that might be one of the shocking series of chain events for one of you guys, uh, the positive visitor. But I heard they will contact before they come. They will. So that's good. And I heard it's going to be positive. So positive energy between you and this person, positive copacetic energy. It sounds like they're going to come to you. Now, I don't know if it's going to come to your business, to your home, to your workspace, what have you, what have you, but however that resonates, they are going to come to you. And I heard they will contact you first. So that's good and respectful. So whoever that's for. So. All right. I love you guys so much. If you like my channel or um, like my work, please feel free to share it very publicly on social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it and I love you guys so much and have a wonderful day and namaste.